I think I started my period. But didn't you just have your period like two weeks ago? Sometimes it's irregular. I'm gonna be honest with you guys. Last night was no, it was really smooth. <laughs> Let me expose my fiance for a second, okay? Last night we slept really late because I was I was going through some shit and my fiance stayed up with me and he usually sleeps way earlier than I do. So I'm used to this like bad bitch, bad girl nightlife. She comes alive when the sun goes down. And so I'm getting ready to fall asleep. It's like, I don't know, like maybe three in the morning. My fiance's laying down. I am just about to fall asleep. He's already knocked out, okay? And I feel the biggest rumble ever. So I what? shoot out. I literally go from like a full parallel to earthquake. I feel another rumble. Like the whole bed's shaking at this point. And you know what he does? He opens one eye and goes, I can't do this right now. <laughs> no, I didn't. I didn't. It goes back to sleep in the middle of an earthquake. Did I really say that? He told me that he can't do this right now. I remember getting my phone because I have an earthquake app because like hashtag living in LA. So I've got my little earthquake app. I'm like typing in earthquake app, you know, and he, he goes like this, babe, and just throws my phone on the bed. No way. <laughs> But I remember I like turned down the brightness all the way and I put it under the blanket and did this shit oh. And you were like, hey, let's go to sleep And I was like, okay How do you smoothly transition from an earthquake, a scary earthquake, a dangerous earthquake To just one of the most wonderful earbuds that I have ever placed inside of my ear holes do, do you guys have an idea? Let me tell you about my Raycons because honestly if it weren't for the vibration of my bed These noise isolating comfortable Amazing bass earbuds when I stick them in my ear look at this beautiful compact case I wouldn't have even known that there was an earthquake because these are so good at noise isolating I mean it's wonderful. These are the best premium earbuds that I have ever stuck in my ear holes But here's the best part. It comes at half the price without compromising any of the audio quality. Every Raycon earbuds that you purchase, they come with like a size fitter. So if you've got extra small ear holes, extra large ear holes, they've got you and they don't judge you. It comes in a variety of different colors and patterns so you can make it fully your style, your personality for this summer. Whether you guys are traveling more, going to the beach, listening to some music while you're watching the beautiful sunset. That is my dream. You need some good quality earbuds. I mean, this is co-founded by Ray J. A lot of Celebrities like them like Snoop Dogg, Mike Tyson, Rich the Kid. They also have a 45 day free return policy, which is amazing because I love to test things out and these will not disappoint. So if you guys are interested, make sure to go to buyraycon.com slash Miss Mango Butt to get 15% off of your new favorite earbuds. That's buyraycon.com slash Miss Mango Butt for 15% off your Raycon purchase. Thank you Raycon for sponsoring today's video and let's get into it. This house has just been a mess these days, I just want to say, okay? I have been thinking about going to Georgia for a quick visit, you know? Things are opening back up. Georgia was where I was born and raised. And I was like, okay, like maybe, maybe I'll go pack my stuff, just get it together. I take the dogs, go to Georgia. So in order to do that, the only concern that I had other than traveling during all of this, even though it's kind of over and everyone's like, and it's all getting better, right? Is that Tiger is one of the most anxious dogs in the history of the world. So I had these anxiety pills prescribed for Tiger, okay? These are Tiger's anxiety pills that he takes every time that he travels, but I'm like, oh my God, it's been so long since he's traveled. What if he doesn't react to it? Well, I call up the vet. And they're like, yeah, well, you could totally test it out at home. You know, just give him maybe like half the dosage, see how he reacts, you know? Otherwise, we can try to see if he needs like a different pill, a different dosage. So last night, there was a lot going on last night, okay? I gave him half of the pill, half of the dosage that was prescribed for him. And the whole night, this is him. <laughs> he wouldn't sleep. He just sat there. <laughs> Just bobbing his head from side to side. I tried to make him lay down and he would go and just bob his head from side to side. Anyway, today's video, what we're gonna be doing is I had something planned. I'm just pulling up all of the things that I had planned, okay? Are you sure about that? Oh, okay, hold on. I think I have to, honey, what's up? I don't know what's going on right now. 
but I have the craziest, gnarliest cramps. Like, out of nowhere, I was just on my phone. Are you I... okay? Ow! What's wrong? What's wrong? Ow. Why'd you turn it off? What's oh, going away? That was crazy. crazy. I had the... Maybe it's... Uh, ow, ow, ow! Ow! Do you want medicine? Do you want medicine? Ow! Is it the ice cream? Yeah. No, I don't want it. I don't want medicine. Oh! I'm turning it off. It's okay. Mm -hmm. Just leave it on. It's okay. I can edit it out. Is it food poisoning? I think I have to. You have to throw up? You want back? Do you want it back? Sure. Here, you should take the medicine. I don't want the medicine. Here. Here, drink the water. Uh -uh. Is this something you ate? I don't know. I think I started my period. But didn't you just have your period like two weeks ago? Sometimes it's irregular. <sighs> What's wrong with you? What's your deal? I'm totally fine. <laughs> but this guy, the amount of times he stopped recording my video, I was getting so annoyed. Do you know how hard it is to casually be dying in the middle of cramps and then being like, let me just turn it back on? <laughs> so you're good. Yeah. I saw a lot of these videos where couples will do this to each other. You All got right. me. No, no, don't leave. My fiance got me a bottle of Advil and a <laughs> trash bag. But a lot of the videos, I mean, these boyfriends were running their asses to CVS buying Hershey bars, Kit Kat bars, Snickers bars. Why? Ice cream. Wait, why? Because they love their girlfriends. Wait, chocolate helps with cramps? Yeah. Ice cream helps with cramps? Uh, yeah. That's so weird. <laughs> Their stomach hurts, so you're gonna feed them more food to calm their stomach. You know what? Maybe they didn't. Maybe they're not dating such smart people, huh? I'm kidding. <laughs> they would go and buy flowers. I just wanted to see how much you would do. I guess the extent is like one Advil. You're not even gonna give me the full dosage of two. It's just, Here, take the whole bottle. That's just cheap. <laughs> that's just cheap at this Here, point. This that's just cheap at this point, okay? A trash bag. That's what you get me. That was some stellar acting. Wasn't it good? I had to put these on. These made me brave. I think I could be an Oscar winning actress if I only have scenes and sunglasses. You look like a joke. <laughs> Are you still high? <laughs> hey. Hello, hello, hello. It's night time and I really want to do this right now because I like to fry stuff at night so the whole kitchen doesn't smell like fried oil the rest of the day. I saw this on TikTok. It's uncrustable sandwiches, but you turn it into a fried donut. Is that not insane? These don't last long in my house because when I was growing up, I really loved these. I thought they were so good, so amazing. My mom never really even had peanut butter at home because we're Korean and it's just not a grocery staple. So I thought peanut butter and jelly were mad luxurious. <laughs> same, same with lasagna. Dude, I would trade so much food at the cafeteria if my friend had one of these. They want your food? I mean, if I had good food, like I would trade, you know, 10 bags of Cheez-Its for one of these forkers. <laughs> I would do anything for these. I was a little bitch baby for Smuckers. You don't ask I mean, your mom to buy it? No, she would not buy it. Why? She just thought it's like all fun, which means just all bread. Yeah, I grew up eating a half a grapefruit for breakfast. So I've got the Nutella version. I've got the strawberry version. These are my favorite. Sometimes I like the grape, but the Nutella version just hits different. Now they had some sort of like cookie cutter mechanism, but I don't. All you do is get one of these frozen. That's not gonna work, huh? That's not gonna work. We've just come to the revelation. Well, he's come to the revelation. I didn't know about this, but he's saying it can't be frozen. 
because otherwise it won't seal the bread. Yeah, and then it'll all slip out. You're right. I should have thought about that. You can like so, slowly microwave. It. How long? Like legit five seconds at a time. Five seconds? Yeah. Oh, it smells so good already. I loved these growing up. I love them so much. I think it's good now. Let me just try one. So you're gonna poke like a mini donut hole. <laughs> <laughs> what, what kind of construction you're, you're doing right now? I know, what come out. <gasps> <laughs> oh my god, it's like a macaroon! <laughs> I'm coming out. I'm going to microwave it. You know, nothing in my life was easy. I was on Reddit today. <laughs> Let me just tell you. I'm saved, I saved this for you. I was so close to freaking out, but I, I needed you to hear it because you doesn't take me seriously sometimes. He thinks I'm crazy. Sometimes I'll be talking about some bullshit. And I'm reading this Ask Reddit thread that's like, hey, what's something that's really dangerous that people don't know about? So obviously people know that, you know, knives, firearms, these things are dangerous. They can kill you. But what's some unknown things? Come on, there's gotta be a lot. So I'm thinking, yeah, I wanna be more anxious in life. Come on, bring it on. I go through this Reddit thread and you've got the normal ones at the top. Like, don't put your feet on the dash. Apparently this EMT said that they went to a car crash where she had, the passenger had their feet on the dashboard. Her legs. Why, why are you laughing? Why are you laughing at Sounds this? aggressive. <laughs> no, I, I feel like I have to uncomfortable laugh now. Her legs were um, wrapped over her shoulders like a scarf. She, she died. Don't put your feet on the dash. A lot of people said because of these horror stories, they refuse to drive if their passenger won't take their feet off the dash. Or if you don't wear a seatbelt, you will literally rip right through the car. Like some crazy sh happens to you. I like to wear my seatbelt, okay? It gives me comfort. Wow, this is really too far. <laughs> Please don't deprive your children of a childhood because they will spend the rest of their 20s chasing childhood dreams. And they'll be a mess. I gotta cut a donut hole in between. Oh, yeah. I'm gonna have to just go with it. I keep doing it off center. <laughs> wow, so good. Why don't you just fry it straight up? Why do you have to punch a hole? Because it's a donut. Be my cameraman. Be my camera. I'm it wasn't Oops. recording. Okay, it's fine. It's fine. It's recording now. Oh my god, it smells so good. Who says this is an easy donut trick? An easy donut is a trip to Krispy Kreme. Oh yeah, I think this one's ready, yeah? Yeah, it looks pretty good. So the TikTok, it's a mom. She says it's it's a indulgent weekend breakfast. <laughs> so she put some powdered sugar on it to kind of give it like a French toast vibe, but I'm just gonna eat it straight up. Yeah. Yeah, I think yeah. sugar's too much. Chopsticks are useful. Yeah, they're just perfect. Okay, so this is, <laughs> let's try a crispy. It looks like a donut, no? <laughs> it's so good. <laughs> oh, oh man. Is it good? Wow, yeah. Wow. Holy fork. Oh my god. Can I air fry these? Try it. Right now? Air fry might be smart, yeah. Air fry might be smart. Mm -hmm. It is oily, but it's good. It's so oily. This is the PB&J, but with strawberry. Not bad, but the chocolate is so much better. Mm -hmm. The sweetness comes out perfectly. Yeah, of the chocolate, right? The mm -hmm. Nutella. But I feel like the edges, the crust has crustables. Oh my god. Okay, I'm not gonna lie. I did scarf down all of that. Oh my god, my baseball. Don't eat it! Don't eat it, Bingo! She tried eating my baseball earring! <laughs> <laughs> this is not food! I'm feeling heavy. I'm feeling thick. That was a lot of oil, but I was really excited about them. They're really good, but it feels like one of those things that you get at like an amusement park. Like at Disney, you're like, this is an amazing idea! And then you eat it and you're like, I'm so tired. I don't think I can walk another foot in this amusement park anymore. I don't even think I can make it to the car. What do I do with myself? So as I was saying, I'm on this Reddit thread. What's a lot more dangerous than people think, right? Seat belts. You have chocolate on your lips. Oh, <laughs> yes! dinner and we started watching TikToks together. I was like, hey, look at this TikTok. And there was this one TikTok where I was making fun of someone, okay? I was like, oh my god, they're what an idiot. Why would they act so cringe? And then he, he looks at me and he's 
starts laughing too. So I'm like, oh, I'm so funny. I got jokes. That's what's going on, right? <laughs> and he grabs my phone and turns on the record, like in the middle of the bottom TikTok. And it's the camera, like the front camera just turns on by itself on TikTok. And I'm laughing mid laugh. He turns on the camera. My entire front tooth was covered in a piece of spinach. <laughs> covered completely. It was the biggest piece of spinach I had ever seen in my life. And that is on what? Karma. So anyways, this Reddit thread. Yes, seat belts make sense. Putting your feet on the dash makes sense. Some people said bread and water diets. It sounds like just torture, right? Bland food. You don't get protein. You probably don't get your nutrients. Did you know why people put people on a bread and water diet? Why? They said it doesn't matter if you're Floyd Money Mayweather. The constipation you feel on that diet will probably knock you out. Like, as you're trying to poop, you will probably pass out in pain if so you only you put, eat bread and water for like three days. Then why do people do that? To torture people. Oh, it's a torture. It's like a ration. Um, sometimes, sometimes you have no choice because there's only food available, but it's really dangerous. And then I came across this one, and I'm looking at it, and I was like, that's really dumb. It was about potatoes. Well, how are potatoes dangerous? I guess you could put them in a sock and whip it around, like a nunchuck, just start beating people with it. I thought maybe that. What's so dangerous about potatoes? They're so good that you can't stop eating them. Is that why? They said that potatoes, once they start sprouting, you know those little green parts? You yeah. gotta throw the whole potato it's away. Yeah. It's poisonous, but not only is eating poisonous, but it produces a gas that is toxic to humans. And so I'm sitting there like, idiots, okay? Like either bake your potatoes or get rid of your potatoes and then I went to go do some laundry let me take you and I need to take you to come here come on oh my god, god. look at those plants oh my. these have been here since when my mom was staying with us this is my mom's doing do you see that oh my god this has been months and months and oh, 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 oh shit Serious? It's like a coral reef situation on each one. Oh no. Um, your mom trying to poison us. I today. think so. I think secretly she's trying to kill us. I think we've definitely been poisoned to a degree. Okay, throw them in the trash. Ah! Get out of here! <laughs> what is that? That's the piece of sprout! <laughs> That we just had that sitting there for months. Oh, Am I gonna call my mom and tell her that she almost took my life? Michelle. Absolutely. <laughs> I'm gonna tell her this is literally on the verge of being manslaughter at this point. So what else did you see on that stupid website? They also said that if your fiance isn't nice to you, mm -hmm. that's really dangerous because it gives you heart conditions, which could mm -hmm. lead to um, heart disease. Facts. <laughs> I was genuinely sitting there like fucking idiots. I wear my seatbelt. I never put my feet on the dash. Are you kidding? Potato? A potato? <laughs> that was literally me last night. I was like, where have I seen sprouting potatoes before? <laughs> oh shit. We are pretty good at growing plants, huh? <laughs> <laughs> Who said yeah. that we can't grow plants? Um, honey, would you like to explain yourself? Look at this one, we ruined this one too. So anyway, just wanted to let you guys know, I'm a stein. It's my life or death experience. You know, coming out of this, I really appreciate life more. I'm gonna be a lot more humble now, a lot more grateful now. I gotta go, cause I'm in a food coma from those donuts. Don't do it, they're so good by itself too. You don't need to, you don't need to fry them up. You don't need to fry them up and make it hard for yourself. I gotta do dishes. I hate frying stuff because that oil, you can't throw it down the sink, okay? It's like a whole thing. That's something they don't tell you about adulting. Did you know you can't throw frying oil down the sink? Bacon oil, you can't throw that down the sink? Everyone's like, you can't? <laughs> no, you can't! It'll clog your sink! I hope you guys enjoyed today's vlog. Let me know in the comments. I'll see you guys tomorrow! I think I'm on a sugar high! <laughs> I almost forgot. I got this for you guys, not for me. Not for me. Not for me. <laughs> A big Kit Kat bar. Why is the part missing?
Okay, now it's even more sugar high. It's so good. Tastes like just a regular Kit Kat, but if you took a big bite, I highly recommend. 10 out of 10. Bye.